What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Pam Pod, the podcast where we talk about I got a job, uh, Disneyland grad night, uh, how I graduate on Tuesday, and whatever X Man's got going on. I'm your host, Pan the Man, and joined by me here today is my co host, X Man 3000. X Man, how are you doing today? I'm one sexy man. So are you. I mean, what? Thank you, sir. I'm doing well, man. Uh, I'm doing very well. Uh, yeah, it seems. Yeah, you just had that. What that grad night? What two days ago? Yesterday or some shit? Yeah. Like that. How how that go? That's well, we gotta explain it first, I think, for all the people yeah. who don't know what's going on. Um, grad night is a thing that Disneyland puts on for all the graduating people around them. And we, I live in central California, so we're, we're kind of included in that. I don't know if, who else is included. It might be farther and wider, uh, too, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, um, Disneyland puts on a thing where you get, it's like $250, which is a lot, uh, to go up to Disneyland on a bus with all your homies for a final day all together with your friends that you've basically grown up with since you were five years old um at a day at at disneyland with all you know all regular admission all that and then um after 9 p.m they start kicking everybody out and so basically you basically have the whole california adventure park all to yourself and your, your fellow classmates and a bunch of schools are there. So it's still, there's still wait times and stuff, but it's all for the kids, man. And it was absolute pandemonium. So here's how mine went down. Here's how my experience went. We wake up at 4 30 AM to get ready to go to Disneyland. Jesus. Um, yeah. So we drive at like five 30, get on the bus at like six 30 and then we're off at about seven, I'd say. And so this drive took about four hours in the bus, five hours maybe. And then we had some complications. Okay, number one, the bus ride sucks. It was a charter bus, which means it's comfortable and all that. And like, um, it, I mean, it's not too lavish, you know what I mean? It's just got more comfortable seats than a normal school bus. A five and there's more room. Seat. No, yeah. Um, yeah we we weren't shame. material girls on this one. But um, anyway... Um, six hour bus ride, uh, kind of uncomfortable cause I'm a big man. Okay. Like I, and I'm like, oh, I had to shit like the whole time. And then I had to pee really bad. And here's where this gets worse. The bus driver didn't know where to drop us off. So, um, we go to one parking lot and they send us to turn around and go somewhere else. And then we get sent somewhere else. And then we're finally at the right place, but they're letting people off the bus one by one at least one bus every 10 minutes and there's 10 buses in front of us which is insane do the math on that it took us about an hour to get off the bus and we were right by the entrance but they were doing one bus at a time so once we so and blue balling you yeah and basically my balls are about to burst because like i gotta pee so bad man because piss is storing the balls like you, you know this is like anatomy right and so basically um I had to pee so damn bad. Like I was literally standing, I was doing the pee pee dance, bro. And I had, to, and I was literally staring at the porta potty, but they would not let us out. And so anyway, I jump out of the car, out of the bus. Finally, after we get through everything, uh, they like tell us like no drugs, no anything, blah, blah, blah. You'll be banned no for 10 drugs. years if you bring drugs. Yeah. It's like stuff like that. No it's like, you know, it's basic shit, man. For the, for the crack addicts out there. But anyway, um, we get past that, and after that, I run to the porta potty, dude. I take the longest piss of my life. It was like two minutes long. Anyway, it had to have been about a gallon. But then we get into the park. Hey, um, there's a very long line of Jets grad night. It's like it's like a security checkpoint. We get through that, we get our ticket, and then we're free to go, right? So me and my girlfriend. So we start on California Adventure. We we run out of California Adventure. We go to Disneyland. We try and meet up with some buddies, right? And then we get on some rides. But it wasn't that simple, right? Because my buddies had already gotten on a ride and they were like halfway through the line. They were like, yeah, just jump up with us. Just jump up the line. Uh, yeah. And I did not want to do that. So we waited for them for like 30 minutes to an hour. We got some food because it was like lunchtime at that point. And so, okay, that's one thing that it was totally my fault and like we did wrong. 
is we waited for them. You know what I mean? We per- probably should have just hopped in a line ourselves to do something, but we didn't. And so that's like two hours wasted or one hour wasted. And then, so now me, me and my girlfriend, we, we get the genie pass, which is basically the fast pass, right? And the fast pass, the genie pass is like you reserve your, it's basically the robot stands in line for you theoretically, because like you, you buy the genie pass on your phone and then you, you put into a ride that you want and it gives you a set time. You're supposed to go where you can just basically just get on the ride and it's 20 bucks and it was OP, but we used it wrong. So basically we are trying to like, so you can have groups on this fast pass, right? So like all your friends can get on the same ride at the same time. Right. And it's kind of messed because my friends already were in a group and they already scheduled a time for a ride without us. So we were oh left on our own kind of. So we we finally used that pass. Wow. That's some friends, man. We used it once. Uh, we used it for Space Mountain at 7.30 p.m. We uh, And we scheduled that at like 4. So we it was like a 3 hours for one thing. So $20 for one ride. Boohoo. Anyway, man. Um, that sucked. And we probably could have used that better. We didn't really plan. I'm not going to lie. We did not plan. But we got on like five rides, six rides or something like that. Um, a lot of people did get on a lot of rides. and But we were just unlucky. But yeah, pretty much it was fun. We were eating. We were, you know, hanging out, having fun, you know, walking around. I got like 30,000 steps in uh, the whole day, which is a lot. Because right now I've been in my house all day streaming and I almost have 2,000, uh, which sucks. But anyway, um, other than that, it really started to... Okay, here's my overall experience. It was miserable, and here's why. The start of the day was good, right? Because, you know, we got started, you know, we were having fun. We're all, like, ready to get off the bus and go on all these rides, stand in line. But after a while, dude, like... So at 10 p.m., it's all to ourselves, right? It's nighttime. They literally have a designate, designated dance spots where they have DJs and like, oh my God. dude, you could you would not believe how crazy Stitch was busting it down, man. He was going nuts, man. Stitch, <laughs> Stitch from Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He was going down, man. Like they they had the mascots dancing and shit. Like he was going crazy, and like, dude, at Cars Land. This motherfucker, like, dude, it was the spot. Like, it was basically a club. Like, those people on their Snapchats, like, a girl twerking in the middle of, like, a circle at fucking Disneyland at 11 what p.m. The in the middle of the night friendly. with the DJ. Holy. No, no, it's not, though, because it's, like, Disney you know, after dark, we're graduating. Man. Yeah, Disney after dark, man. There's no toddlers around, so it got, it. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, a toddler experience, you know what I mean? And it was, wasn't supposed to be, but it was weird. Because I've never seen Disneyland like that, and I'll never see it like that again. But it was weird. But around 10 p.m., I started to not feel too great. Uh, it was the tiredness aspect, and I actually met up with an online, online real life friend. But I talked to him more online than I do in real life. Shaolin, I saw Shaolin there. At like uh, we didn't, we were trying to meet all day, but we we never could because they had their own plans, we had our own plans. But I found him in a gift shop. Like, just randomly, and I said hi, you know, we talked for a little bit. And we were just talking about, like, you know, how we're so tired. Like, like it could have ended at midnight. We Okay, we had to be on the buses at 2 a.m., but it could have ended at midnight. Like, because basically, well, yeah. So you got on there, like, you woke up, like, 4 a.m., Yeah. went there, and then you yeah. went all the way to, like, 2 a.m. until you finally yeah. went home. That yeah. is... What the fuck? They literally That's told us cool. at 9 that we're locked into California Adventure until 2 a.m. They said we're locked in there. Oh, yeah. my God. That, yes. How is that legal? <laughs> well, I mean, we legal? paid for it. And you, you signed something, right? They're like, no. Sign your life away. If you die well, inside the park, I might have signed something. I don't know. The park. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That, that well, kind of, I, mean, I don't know. From the service level, that just kind of just doesn't sound safe. I feel like that's no, it's safe. It's fine. But like, here's the thing, though. Like, 
I was so tired by 10 p.m. and I still had yeah. four hours to go. You know what I mean? So like by midnight, it was the last ride we did. And then we basically just walked around, hanged out, hung out with friends, sat there and waited for the bus. And um, honestly, wow. it was a good experience, but I'm good with Disneyland for a while, like a, a while. Yeah. Like if, if I didn't go back for five years, I'd be okay with that. I'm not going to lie because kind of lost the magic for me just a little bit. But um, yeah. No magic in Disneyland. Yikes. Yeah. My honest review is that, you know, do it, but expect expect to be tired, man. Because it's an overnighter. It's an all-nighter, man. And I do not pull all-nighters, man. I was asleep the whole time on the way back. I listened to Joe wow, Rogan on the way back. And Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. I, I think my school had a, a grad night. We had ours for Six Flags, though. I didn't go because okay. I didn't want to. Six Flags is funny because I saw a TikTok and it said hour 23 of six flags grad night and it's everybody it dude it's like five thousand Freddy's. is dude everybody's like sleeping like nobody's even doing the rides dude everybody's just miserable it's so funny oh my god yeah i couldn't imagine i don't think about it if they had something like what you had where it's like oh you have to stay on the fucking uh campus of the the park yeah. like all day and well, then where else six are you gonna flags. go i've never been to six flags so that's it's, the thing. It's fun. But I, what I've seen, you know, it's kind of crazy. So it's like, that looks even probably crazier than Disneyland. I could imagine staying on there for fucking 10 plus hours. Well, dude, it's just a bunch of thrill rides. Like, there's, like, at least Disneyland, know, there's yeah. chill rides for when you're tired. But, dude, all these are, like, literal jaw dropping. Like, your stomach is, yeah. at, is I mean, like, at your mouth. Like, you, you know what I mean? I like, the, like, you yeah, have butterflies. It's kind of Flags whole thing, though. That's, like, that's their... So it is their whole thing. Not, but the thing is, Disneyland, for Friday, it's not too great. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. I couldn't imagine doing, actually going to fucking Six Flags. Disneyland, they have a fucking actual... You know, it's Disney. They have a fucking brand. It's Six Flags. Yeah. It, it's Six Flags. I don't know what the fuck they do there. I've never been there, so... I've never been to Disneyland, either. I've never been to, like, any of these places, because... Broke. I just never wanted yeah. to, though, though honestly. And yeah, that's okay, man. I don't know. Maybe one day. They're not for everybody, but they're cool to go once. But I mean, I've been to, I've been to yeah. Disney like four times. I don't know. It just it's not I'll the same as the first time. Go, you know what probably. I mean? I have it's a good to see once, especially to Star Wars ones. Land. You need to see Star Wars. Star Wars Land. Star Wars Land. Yeah, I, I do yeah. love Star Wars. I'd probably nerd out in that shit. Not gonna lie. Yeah. That's how. Like you can get a lightsaber, but it's too oh expensive. My God, yes. like, no, yeah. That's oh my cool. god, five hundred dollar lightsaber? I need There's it. a life size Millennium Falcon. Like you can you can like stand next to it. Oh shit. Oh I thought you said you I thought you meant like you could buy it. I was gonna be like, oh damn. No. No. <laughs> Imagine it's just there, you like, buy your own Millennium Falcon? Oh my It's in the Tatooine hangar. Yeah, Tatooine that's cool. Hangar. That sounds sick. It is sick. I wonder it. Damn, no, damn. I wonder how much that shit costs to make. That shit is probably a fortune. So much. But, dude, they make so much a day. Like, here's how they get you. Like, to make you buy beverages in the, beverages in the park. Like, okay, so if you're general admission, you could bring food and snacks in. But if you're if we were on grad night, they said no food, no water. You can't bring it. Like, And if it's a water bottle, you have to pour it out. So, basically, I had to drink their nasty-ass tap water. Like, like out of the water fountains or buy a water. Like, dude, I, I had to buy a water. Like I brought my water bottle and there's no good places to refill your water bottle and nowhere as ice. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that, dude. Jesus. It's oh, just, they, they well, get you on like every a, corner with the pain, with the money thing. How's it look like? Did, were you able to like bring backpacks and shit to carry stuff or no? Nah? Yeah. No, nah, I, I had my school backpack. Uh -huh. It's like oh, a that's, that's Jan good, sport. I thought, they were gonna, I thought they would be like, yo, walk in there. You can't have shit except whatever's in your pockets. Phone. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean. And you're just carrying shit all day. That okay. Sucks. So the reason they that's let you bring good. in a backpack is because you have to have something to carry your souvenirs you bought in. Exactly. It's, it's all a scam. Yeah. Jesus. It's all a scam. Um, fuck. Imagine that. You, you 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 scrape every penny you have to go to this grad night just to find out everything costs a million dollars. It does. And then you're already broke. And then you're just there drinking. You already tap paid water for the day. park admission. Yeah. They did give us a free mini Coke at the grad night. Oh my, wait, so like when it comes to like food and water and everything, none of that is covered? 
No, you have to pay for food and water. What? Fuck, no one, ain't nobody yeah. helped. God damn, holy. Dude, it's Disney. Thank God. You, yeah. No, I mean, like, from the, like, your school. Your school wouldn't no, be like, yo. It, yeah, no. Here's the, maybe one time during the whole fucking 20 hours you're there. Hey, here's some food. But nah. Nope. No. Oh, my God. That's, that, that sounds like they're trying to, like, kill you before you even graduate. They're like, you, you're not making it past graduation. Damn near, man. Hey, That's bro. Funny. It was, I felt so disgusting after because, dude, it's usually I wake up and then I don't go 12 hours without taking a shower. But I was, I, I was 24 hours no shower, dude. Imagine that that film of oil that's on you after 24 hours at Disneyland walking around like crazy. Like I haven't worked out since like I'm like getting depressed cause I haven't worked out, but I'm tired. You know what I mean? Like me, shit. I need to stop complaining. That's what I need to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm the type of guy. I need to take a shower at once a day. Unless the only, the only time I don't take showers is when I literally do nothing. If it's a day where I'm just inside, but if I work out, if I go outside, you know, I, I gotta take a shower. I, I like to feel clean, man. Me too. Um, like if I'm straight. if I'm nasty, bro, I'm not nasty for long. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I I, I hate it because I'm I'm a type of guy though who like I, I sweat very easy. Like I'll be doing nothing. I'll Me be too. Just outside going for walks and I sweat hell easy. I'm like, nah, I gotta take a shower. Yeah. Gotta feel gotta feel fresh, man. You never know. Right. You never know, man. When it's time to go fucking pick up some ladies or some shit i don't know whatever you motherfuckers do um you always want to smell single fresh. lifestyle x man tip of the day it's always smell fresh we should do we should do man tips no dude we should definitely do man tips man tips. that's a like good one what? like how to like how to pick up mad ladies uh, no just like hygiene for, you know what i mean wash your booty hole yeah wash your booty hole huh? do you wash your booty hole like, like, do I? Do I just like fucking re put the soap and just shove it up there? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. I don't know about that. Maybe not that far, but of course. I mean, you wash everything. Or maybe, or maybe, maybe rub like the soap like, on your hand and get back there. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. Do you? You got to. Do yeah. you? Yeah. Why? Okay. I mean, dude, you're, shit. People don't know this you're stuff, me, man. You're, you're making me nervous. Are you saying you don't? No, I do that. No, yes, I do. I'm just saying. Like, I'm trying. Okay, to... I was like, yes. Hold on. So, this, so it doesn't mean. Okay, I will give you the benefit of the doubt, though. I started doing that like half a year ago. Exposed, man. The man hasn't been washing his ass for over 16 years. It's fucking. I figured it out, man. Shit, years. I figured it out. Well, I mean, it's and, not like, and you know... My you know, life the, has changed. I'm, My life has changed. Since. Well, it, it's not like you have to... Um, well, they're getting too descriptive. It's not like you have to shove your hand up your ass, but... I mean, you gotta get damn close. Get the general no, area. You gotta get... Good, man. You gotta get fucking in there, bro. Okay, not too deep, because you gotta do too... You got too deep, you're not coming back. No. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I don't go in. There. No, that's I don't go in moment. there, man. That is a huh moment. But that okay. That's okay. That's our man tip of the day. Do we have a women? Do we have a female tip? Um, uh, I don't think we have any. I mean, it'd be the same too for females, right? I mean, if you don't, yeah, no, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Especially for females, you twerking that ass everywhere. You got to make sure it's clean, right? You gonna be bumping yeah, bro, about your, to get your... pink eye. <laughs> yeah, you could be rubbing your stink butt on someone, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, Matt. Um, honestly, if you, uh, okay. Yeah, let's just. This is a bad topic. Let's just stop. Talking. Is it? No, Next. that was a good. Uh, no, that's a good. No, good topic, weird. man. It was a weird, weird topic. No, it's not weird. Um, I mean, I guess it's not weird. It's normal, but at the same time, it's like, man, what if someone's eating right now? They're all watching and they're just eating, and we're just talking about ass cheeks. If you're eating, Anyways, fuck you. Man. There's somebody else on the toilet watching, so. Oh, you want to see what I have? Yeah, he's got pasty, man. Um, it, it's Is that right. cold? Little... Has it been sitting there? Yeah. No, it's like cold pasta. It's not supposed to be hot. Um, oh. I was eating it a little bit before. I don't know what they, I forgot what it's called. It's like a pasta salad kind of thing. Like a, it's yeah, all right. Yeah, Pretty no, good. yeah. I know what you're talking about. Gets the job nice. done. I hate shit like coleslaw and that kind of shit. That shit is disgusting. Um, okay. Today. Coleslaw sucks, but that I went disgusting. to this ja I went to this Jamaican place. Okay, fast food 
Jamaican place. Uh, okay. Fast food, coleslaw sucks. I went to this Jamaican place. It's a pop-up like canopy uh, restaurant. Um, it's, a, it's a food truck, but it's a canopy. You know what I mean? Like it's mobile. And you got to find it around town. Um, and they have bomb ass coleslaw. They put it in with like the jerk chicken. And oh my God. That coleslaw was actually what good. Chicken? <laughs> the jerk chicken. Oh. <laughs> okay. The jerk, the jerk dude. Chicken. The fucking jerk, yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, I've been eating like shit, man. Like there'll be a week where I'm like, oh, I need to get my eating together, and I finally start eating good, and then I uh, and then I just go back into just eating like crap. It's just, oh, so nice. It, it you is a game, hassle. You need a bulk, man. If I get peanut butter and I do need a bulk. Peanut butter and games. I, yeah, I just fucking I'm I'm the lazy when it comes to eating like I am just the laziest motherfucker. I just eat whatever. I just don't give a fuck. It's just how it is. Um, Sometimes yeah, it's how it, it be though. Bad. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I, I assume you're, you're done with the whole graduation talk, right? You no more to add to that. I mean, I don't know. We the grad have a graduation night. next week. Yeah, yeah, grad, we, we got to talk night. about graduation. Yeah, the actual graduation itself, man. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, Get started. Gonna start with that. That's fucking wild. So you're gonna have yours Tuesday, your official yeah. graduation Tuesday. I yeah. have a practice Tuesday, and then my graduation is Wednesday. Obviously, yours is gonna be a lot bigger than mine because your school is a lot bigger. That yeah, that's fucking wild, though, man. It's who would have thought? Didn't you think about it? A big portion of our life is all on fucking YouTube and Twitch. A lot of mine fucking deleted, but for the most part, like. We have fucking our little lives, and all of a sudden, you know, we're all graduating now. It's fucking wild. I know. People have been um, watching me for like four years, and they're seeing me grow up, man. It's crazy. I, I know. It's like a lot of these motherfuckers, you know, from Discord and shit, be like, um, known you since like the middle school days, high school, early high school days. It's like, holy shit. It's wild. I know. It's a good, uh, it's a big question for the future. Like, what's next? Like, if you, if you uh, haven't been thinking about the future, then. Now's the time. You know what I mean? You're graduating. Yeah. I think, um, fuck, man. And I, I gotta, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I guess, you know, going straight to college. But after that, after the college, I'm just like, fuck, what happens then? I guess we'll figure it out. I'm more of a day by day kind of person. I like to yeah. think about the future, but not get too crazy into it because then it then it turns into overthinking and you think about it too hard, you overthink it. It's good to have goals. But, uh, yeah, very good to have goals. Have goals. Um, don't have like an end result. Things change. Sure. Yeah, it's okay to fail. X Men. Um, morale, morality with X Men. What was it called? Some morality sure. with X Men. He's Something back like at that. at it again. It is. Don't it is okay to fail. to fail as long as you try. Yes. Don't um, be afraid of rejection. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything like? Oh, I guess you're gonna be working now. Did you actually like get a job now? What's what's up with that? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good topic. We'll we'll come back to that after I talk about graduating. So, so I graduate okay. on Tuesday, and so basically what's happening on Tuesday is I'm waking up early. I'm doing the whole rehearsal thing, and then going at six. Gonna have like a talk, and gonna have a last like you know, high school moment with my graduating colleagues. Then we're all going to walk down into the stadium that we have, and we're going to get it started. I am going to be sitting in the front because I was part oh, of damn. a club that is prestigious. Uh, it's, it means I had a three-point – it means I had a very high uh, GPA every semester of every – of every semester, yeah, of the of the school, like, of, of my career. So You were um, a smart motherfucker. So yeah, I was a smart motherfucker. Front. So Unlike I'm sitting in the peasant. front. Unlike the peasants. Yeah. So <laughs> and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one extra ro uh one extra tassel or whatever, like the, the little ropes around me. I'm gonna have one more or two more. I forget which one I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have two or three. And um then, you know, you're just gonna walk up, they're gonna say your name. Like you're gonna have a card, they're gonna say your name. Uh, so it, it, it seems very unpersonal because you're going to have a, a name card. It has your name on it. They're going to say it wrong, and they're going to walk up there and get your – And we don't even get our diplomas when we shake the principal's hand. We have to wait till after to – Yeah, I think everyone does. For, it's weird. Yeah. We have to wait for them to excuse us after the ceremony to run over to a bunch of tables at the other side of the um, 
at the other side of the stadium uh, and get our diploma from like a weird like distribution thing. It's so damn stupid, the system. Like, why can't I have my moment where I shake hands with my principal? He gives me my diploma. Stupid. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. that's how mine's going, though. I don't know about you. Um, well, mine, um, mine is taking place at the theater of your school. I'm sure yeah. you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to name it. I don't know if you care or not, but whatever. I don't want to name it. But yeah, mine, mine's taking place in the theater. So mine's not going to be outdoors, which I kind of like, um, which would be sick. Uh, fucking. That's nice because it's going to yeah. be hot. Yeah, it's going to be hot. The, the day I, I think I looked, and it's supposed to be like 90 that day. Um, but mine's gonna be like at 4 p.m. So it's like fucking prime time heat, Jesus. But uh, yeah, um, I'm giving. I think I me- I might have mentioned this last podcast. I can't remember, but uh, I'm gonna be doing a fucking speech. I'm like doing the farewell speech for my graduation. My school's a lot smaller, but there's still gonna be a couple hundred people there. So that's that's fucking scary to even think about. And uh, I have my whole speech written and everything. Uh, and it's good four four minutes speech, and the whole I'm kind of nervous. I only got a couple of days to really practice because I, I barely f- completely finished writing it yesterday. I've had Why'd to, you write it? Um, I mean, because I, I think they want you to. I mean, that'd be kind of dumb if you went up there and just fucking winged it. I mean, I could. No, if that's I better. To. Wing nah, it's better. It, trust me. You're not a robot if you don't wing it. Yeah. Maybe nah, have some guidelines like, and have like have like a piece of paper that you can look down to. But well, yeah, like I, with key points, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm because not gonna say that, it word for word. If that, is that what you mean? If that's what you yeah. mean, then yeah, I'm not saying it word for word. But I'm just—it's okay. for most, for the most part, it's like a, it's outlined. So okay. yeah, I that I didn't believe it or not. I don't want to sound like a robot either, because because a lot of the part wrong problem, problem is them is that I don't want to be up there and then be like, oh fuck, where am I? And plus, I have a strict time limit because we're they're trying to like cram a whole graduation in like a fucking hour. Um, Actually, so oh my god, yeah. So I got a string. That's why. That's why I kind of had to write. I I have no fucking clue, honestly. Stupid. Um. So yeah, that, that's gonna be interesting how that goes. And then I'm pretty sure we have to do the whole diploma bullshit too, where it's like, okay, walk up the stage now. Wait after to get your diploma, which is kind of fucking yeah. dumb. I don't know why they do that. But uh, so basically, you haven't really graduated after you like shake that guy's hand. You know what I mean? You've only graduated after you've gotten your documentation yeah. bro which i guess technically if i wanted to i could have gotten the diploma earlier since i technically graduated earlier but this is me actually walking for the yeah. graduation because I, I mean i did technically graduate early but like technically you're walk. not free if you don't have the diploma yeah i could have asked for it earlier but i never needed it i mean i guess there's some jobs that ask for it i've like i've been in a few interviews which none of them have fucking worked out um unfortunately sag Sad, uh, no job. Forever. Get Maybe Walmart. Homeless, uh, pro streamer for life. Walmart. Ten hours Walmart's hiring right now. Walmart. Uh, yeah, I might actually. I, I haven't applied to any of the WalMarts. I've applied to a bunch of other fucking. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. Apply to Walmart. Um, because now I'm like, fuck, dude. Now it's getting so close to. I know we still have a lot of time until college starts, but now it's getting so close. It's like, damn, only like two months anyways. It's kind of fucking annoying. I have two weeks. I'll, two weeks. Oh yeah. yeah, are you doing summer school? Summer for school, like, yeah. For a college, damn. I'm just doing one class. It's appreciation of American film. Ooh, that's kind of sick. Yeah, I mean, so like we right. started, we so I got like the syllabus and like what's gonna be happening in the class yesterday. So basically, the first week we're gonna watch two silent films, like which sound boring, but like it's not too bad because they're 12 minutes long each. And then we we have like an hour an hour long one that's from the thirties, and then you just go up the years until you get to the present time. So it's nice. That's and they're not too bad movies, so yeah. should be good. When I yeah, when I get to college, all my shit is just gonna be music nerd shit. Um, that's gonna be fun. I think after that, uh, I don't want to just go and do music and then dip out. So I think I might just do like music and then. After that first year, I get the music certificate, and I think I might try and do some like business shit or like mar- marketing. Something. Oh yeah, like there's that. a business something. program. Yeah, you could do that totally. I'm gonna do something like that, but I actually, I like doing this music thing, so I could uh gives me time to really think about what specifically I want to do. But yeah. uh, and also so I don't have to commit to anything. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, 
And then after, the, yeah, shit, that, that's still a couple months out, though, so we got we got plenty of time. But uh, other than that, um, other than that, what have you been doing late? I know you've been playing, um, what is that recent game you've been playing a shit ton of on stream? I forget. Trackmania. Trackmania, yeah. That, how's it, that's been going pretty fucking nutty. So uh, Trackmania a is a game where you basically, it's a very speed run esque game where you have to you basically race yourself to you how you can get the best time on a map and you're just constantly racing yourself over and over again and getting better and better each time and it is a game that i started streaming about two weeks ago maybe a week ago now and it has been exceptional for me over on twitch and the weird thing is i'm one of five people streaming at any one time but I have 10 viewers, you know what I mean? Like, people actually like to watch the game. And it's insane from the two-viewer average I was getting, playing, like, random games. Like, I was playing, like, Flash games, like, Learn to Fly and stuff. But now, I'm getting a 10, 10 viewers a stream when I'm playing Trackmania. And I suck! I am god-awful. But I, I, guess they, I guess they like me. I guess they like me. Yeah, I, I seen. I mean, I've never played the game, so I can't speak. But when I was watching, you know, sometimes I'd see you, and I'd just be like, "Wow, man!" And, and then I, I can always imagine people watching. this just like, "Damn, this guy sucks." Because that's yeah. how I feel sometimes. You should you play know, it, you man. Should... I, I I might. That sounds kind of fun. I've seen. Yeah. But just that feeling when you stream games where you know there's a shit ton of people better than you, and then you're just like, "Fuck." Yeah. I, I know that feeling. Um, especially when you, like you know. Uh, I, I remember seeing XQC play Trackmania, and then you just he you just that's when you know there's a bunch of tryhards come out the woodworks, and it's just like holy shit, it's wild. <laughs> they but, get uh, back on the game. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've seen. Well, I've been playing. Um, I've been playing a lot. A lot of Skyrim. That I, I think I should, I should for real. Yeah, yeah I, I've been really into the single player shit recently, just because I I don't know I'm kind of burnt out and everything else. It's all single player. Um, what? Yeah, I feel like that's kind of where it's at for me. I I think for I'm not speaking for the gaming fucking oh, community get, get as a whole, but I'm saying for me personally, I'm kind of just done with multiplayer games in general. I like, I'm just kind of done with them. Um, cause nowadays, Even I like is kind of a single player. Yeah, that's right. That's not like too insane. Like I'm talking about like, you know, the fucking, the 20 battle royales and the CODs and fucking yeah. balance and CS goes and shit like that kind of multiplayer. I'm just, I had like, that phase too, man. Elden Ring started it off, but, like, I mean, dude, even beforehand, I, I, I went back to the old Call of Duties, played the campaign. Like, you know, I, I had a whole phase where I just played single-player campaign games that I've never finished. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that, man. It's fun. I, I, I play, I like playing, uh, you know, I'll play games with friends occasionally. And uh, one thing that yeah. really pisses me off, uh, that really puts me away from playing these games, is that every fucking time I want to play a game, oh, here's a fat 20 gigabyte update sorry man maybe you could play in a couple hours later and i'm like because my man. internet's already trash so yeah. when i have to do these big ass updates every fucking week it's like oh my god i only play the game maybe once every two weeks and right. that's the issue it's especially you know valorant fucking apex you know, fortnite apex literally everything weekly huge updates i'm like i don't even want to play the game no more it's just like right. holy but uh yeah i've been playing skyrim um because those are like, uh, I also played a little bit of the forest. The forest is kind of crazy. The forest uh, is fun, it's, man. It's weird. Like, there's yeah. a weird storyline. Have you ever played this? Like, actually done the story? Did, yeah, uh, not really into the story. Because the story, uh, I don't know if you it's know, the game was like an alpha or whatever. The story wasn't around when I was playing. Because I played oh, the game okay. since like it first came out when in its early stages, when it was like before yeah. it was a full release. They didn't really right. have the full story, and yeah, um, but. I don't know if you knew this, but they're making a forest too in October, so that's pretty. I know, and it's it's actually progressing the story kind of crazy because if you know the story, it's um it's real crazy, man. It's uh it's some special, yeah. man. I don't want to like spoil it or anything, but Jesus, man, it it throws you through a loop. Yeah, I haven't gotten too far into the story of the forest, but like I've watched videos on it and shit, and like seen other people go through it. Because for me, I, I usually like surviving, and then I just fucking kill shit, and then I'm kind of done with it. But, yeah. uh... Yeah, because the game is kind of like a... There's a lot. It's very complex. There's a lot of crafting that you can do. Very. But, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's what make it great. Very great. And then, Very uh, good, very good. Yeah, I... I'm, I don't know, um... 
uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure how long ago. You you put a poll on your Discord and you're like, should I switch to YouTube gaming, uh, or YouTube or whatever the fuck live streaming? Yeah. And uh, I, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember what the results are looking like. Are you? Does that mean you're debating it soon or what? Okay, so I, I saw a thing on Reddit. I know, guys. I, I look at Reddit. No, it was like the one time I look at Reddit. It was like a, it was a post on my feed, and it said, even Twitch is looking at this. And it was a it was a picture of a Twitch FAQ where, like, it's basically like a Google form that you fill out. And it said, do you think that NFTs and crypto are a good fit for Twitch? <laughs> and, bro, I insta-tweeted... If Twitch adds NFTs and crypto, oh, yeah. I'm switching to YouTube because I just can't deal with that bullshit, man. Like, and they have the audacity to put that after the NFT market just crashed, after Luna just crashed in the cryptocurrency market, leaving people just wanting to commit suicide because they put their whole life savings into it. It was their fault, but still, I mean, it's messed up and like, I don't know, it's unstable and not good. Jesus. And if they I, added, I it's it. the last straw. Yeah, and that's when I replied to your tweet, aware 2022. Fucking yeah. holy going down the shitter. I feel like, um, I guess, obviously, people don't invest in this shit for, oh, I want to have a Bitcoin. No, you want to make money, right? But I yeah. think even still, I feel like there's so many other things that would be way, like, well worth your money. Like, I mean, if you're just going to do Bitcoin and NFT... Why you might as well, why, why don't you just get into stocks instead? I feel like that's just it's more, kind of the kind of, they think it's similar, so and they think that like I, crypto I know, is crypto is kind of erratic. So like they they think that the, there's higher risk, but there's higher reward. You know what I mean? It's a whole deal. Yeah. I think I mean I guess Bitcoin is technically a stock of its own. It's just a different kind almost. Except, but I I still feel like. The difference is, is that Bitcoin and like NFTs is all driven by uh social media hype. Because if there was, so if you take away social media, I feel like there's not much Bitcoin. There is no NFTs at all. I don't think N NFTs exist at all. That's it's not it. It's not. It's not NFTs. Like, crypto. Crypto could work without the internet. I know that's what or, I'm saying. Not okay. Not without the internet because it's digital. I mean, not without the yeah, social media coverage. Social media, yeah, the social media aspect part. But yes. obviously, it needs fucking like, internet. It's a digital thing. But, but people um, were trading stocks before there was internet, so that that's could technically yeah. still work. But maybe we would lose a lot of um, online databases for who owns what yeah. stock. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that that might, you know, stock is also kind of digitally dependent nowadays too. So. Yeah. That that's the thing. The whole point Something is would just, happen, uh, it would suck. Without the social media hype, what the fuck is NFTs? It's fucking nothing without the social media hype. Obviously, um, you know, nerd shit, whatever, it literally needs the internet for the you know, work properly for most of the time, unless we're talking just old school stocks. But without the hype, dude, NFTs is nothing. That's why I wouldn't trust it. Yes, exactly. Trust it now, I wouldn't trust it when it first happened. Because as soon as the hype goes away. No one gives a fuck about it. You have nothing. You've just been scammed. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know enough about it to really speak too much on it. But, uh, I, yeah. So, if Twitch did some shit like that where they added fucking... Yeah, that sh that'd be pretty bad. I haven't really been streaming because my whole issue is that um, I haven't just really wanted to stream too much because not only is there not many games, a lot of times when I am playing games, I'm not really even paying attention to the game. I'm always, I'm always watching something else while playing and doing whatever the fuck, being hella distracted and yeah. whatever. It's like, I feel like streaming needs the full attention, which uh, I just sometimes don't have. So, yeah. But, Dude, yeah, honestly, we'll like, if I'm gaming and not streaming, I don't feel very productive. But if I'm streaming and I'm gaming... I feel very productive and I feel good. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah. I, I'm just addicted to it, man. You know what I mean? That's, it's hard to game and not stream now. Yeah, that that's that's how I, I felt for a while until uh, I'd say I didn't feel like that when I started doing uh like I got huge and like sports sports went kind of crazy this year. Yeah. Um, because before that, like when if I gamed and I didn't stream, I just yeah I I felt the same way. It was like, well, what the fuck's the point, man? I might as well be streaming. Right. Um, 
yeah, but a lot of times, a lot of times, yeah, I'll be on the game, but a lot of times I'll just be doing something else on the side anyways. So it's not, I'm not like gaming. I'm just kind of, it's kind of just there half the time. And I'm just like, oh, let me yeah. do this, tab out, do that. It's just kind of like a distraction, honestly. But right. um, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we got to see what the next meta game is. Maybe I'll hop on it. Who knows? Well, I found mine for now, at least, Trackmania. We'll see if, if I get good at that or not. Yeah, I gotta get those world records, on it. man. I know, dude. Make a name for myself. Yeah. Once I get a world record, I can make a YouTube video out of it, and that that'll go crazy, right, guys? Right? We, track me video out of nowhere. Uh, you surely mentioned it'll it go earlier, crazy. but uh, that learn to fly, dude. I love that game. That yeah? game is fucking fire, and that video was fire too. Fire. I watched it after. Oh, you liked it? Yeah, I think I think that video was really good. And it was fucking funny. And, I want to do more videos too. like that. Yeah, I think that was a good, that was a really good video. I like that format. It's pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, I just pulled the VOD. How about the edits? What did you think of the edits? It's not too crazy. It's perfect. It's like, um, you know, not over the top, you know, fucking yeah. spam, fucking 420 MLG edits. Right. But it was pretty fucking funny. The the game, I remember playing that game so much back in the day. Like, holy shit. Me too. I used I to love that game. Really at school all the time it was so i don't know something about that when you have did you know there's a way that you like can that? download all those old flash games on your computer there probably is yeah there is no i have it i mean it's called it's called flash game archive and you could have every flash game ever on your oh, computer shit. whenever you want that's kind of wild it's you epic. send me a link to that yeah that sounds pretty sick you can probably just look it up oh yeah that's I never wanted to play him, you know, not recently. Uh, I, I think uh, the last time I did play some Flash it? games. No, no, nah, because I feel like I kind of did it all, you know. I Maybe mean, a couple months ago, I remember I went back and played some, like, have you ever played the Last Stand yeah. games? Those are pretty the wild. La no. It sounds familiar. Uh, What's it some about? Some zombie shit that started out as some browser games. It started off as uh, some, like, tower defense shit. Yeah. And then they made it into, like, a whole, like, story game. It was probably one of the most, probably one of the best Flash games. Like in depth, it was pretty wild. Yeah, it was really in depth, and it was just some like two D shit. But it's like, um, yeah, it was very interesting. I think they had, they put it on Steam now. It's actually on Steam now. If you search it up, The Last Stand. Oh, sick! So they like made it its own game. Um, it's it's like a like trilogy. The Binding of Isaac. Like they, it was yeah, such they, a good game that they put it on Steam. Yeah, it was like a tri uh, trilogy. It was like the first two were like tower defense, and the third one was the actual fleshed out game, all browser games. Damn. So they put so they put those on Steam, and then they're like, well, people actually love these games, so now they made an actual like Steam game for another like another one that was like you know a, a whole new game. So they actually like made something off it, probably. That's um, fucking awesome. Yeah, I like so to hear probably it. Probably some indie developer shit. That'd be yeah. fun though. Imagine, imagine if like. Uh, you just made a living off making games like Learn to Fly that fucking and Snake. Do you think they make money? <laughs> uh, prob that's what I'm saying. Probably not. So I'm like, imagine probably if not. Did. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah that'd be I sick. How, I think they Cute literally just. Games. I think they did, but they just made money off straight ads. That's it. Oh yeah, they did. They add the shit out of those games. Yeah, honestly. Ad blocker, come on now. Don't need no fucking Giga Chad. Ad blocker. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck them ads. Um. Yeah. Oh god. Uh. I've been a uh, well. NBA playoffs are today, right? You know. Yeah. Game seven. Heat versus. I know you don't watch NBA, but I do, and I fucking love it. And NBA fucking Heat versus Celtics game seven. I was watching the half before we started, and it looks like the Heat are getting their ass whooped. But who knows? Maybe they'll come back. I get. I don't know. Uh -huh. The reason I bring that up is because you know you didn't hear it from me, right? But when yeah. I wa I don't have actual cable, so when I watch, you know, I so happen to find these mysterious <laughs> websites <laughs> that grant me access, and um, it wasn't my idea. I don't know how I gained access. It wasn't my idea. Yeah, I, I just like I don't know. My hand was on my mouse, and I just accidentally yeah. clicked it. But I was I've yeah. been watching, and holy shit! If you do not have your ad blocker on, you are just spammed like a motherfucker. Really? It, it is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, I tried to remember one time I was in the shower, right? There yeah. was a really good game on, but I had to take a shower, man. I wanted to watch it. And I'm like, you know, I've never tried these websites on my phone. Um, Not my idea, by the way. So I go on my phone. <laughs> there's no ad blocker on my phone. 
right? Yeah. And then I'm looking, and I'm just like, holy shit, it's impossible to watch because you need ad blocker. Oh my god! It reminds me of the flash, the flash games days, but even the flash games weren't that bad. I never it played was, a sla- I never played a flash game with an ad blocker. I never yeah, had an ad blocker when I was. They weren't little. that. Yeah, they weren't that bad. My brother, like I usually always shared a computer with my brother. Um, yeah. So we always had. He always made sure there was like he always put ad blockers and shit because we used to say share accounts and shit. Um. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I don't think. Maybe I think it was how maybe the school computers because I don't remember there being hella ads on school computers, not a lot. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm not sure, huh? But, um, thankfully, because fuck, man, some of those ads are brutal. Jesus, blowing up my speaking computer. of school, man. My last day of school was kind of weird. I went like on the Friday, so like we went to grad night Wednesday. And then Thursday we got back and I slept for 24 hours, right? Because dude, I was exhausted. <laughs> yeah. And then we I we had school on Friday, so I mean a lot of people skipped, but I went. You know what I mean? And so basically, what ha- happened was I I just brought my yearbook and like a book I had to return for chemistry, um, so I could walk because they literally said you can't walk if you have any fines. Which I don't know, it's kind of yeah. fucked, but I guess a good incentive for you bringing every Not everything fucked. back, especially your computer and stuff like that. Um, but brought my book back, and I was just getting my yearbook signed. You know, it's all sentimental. Uh, in a minute, sent him, I'm gonna need a sentimental. Anyway, um, that song, no. Yeah, I I, um, I, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't get the reference. I'm sorry. Um, this motherfucking like Lizzo or some shit. There's like a guy I on TikTok who up. does like, there's like a guy on TikTok that does um, Matthew McConaughey voiceovers, and that's the only reason I know the song because he did a, I'm gonna need a little bit of sentimental. I'm gonna be, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be emotional, but when graduation comes, I'm gonna be like, damn, bro. No, yeah, it's gonna Holy be shit. a very, it's gonna be a valiant experience. Okay, like, you're, you're gonna feel accomplished. My last day of school was February twenty fifth. My and how'd that feel? It was fucking. How'd it feel wild on the last day? It was wild, but for me, it was wild because we had our championship basketball game on that day, so it was like ten times more wild. I remember we talked about this a lot, and probably in one of the older podcasts when it happened. Yeah, we did. But uh, yeah, dude, because I was like, that was it was crazy too. I like it was some real like storybook shit because it was like it was probably one of the hardest games of the season. And it so happened to be our last for the championship. So it was like, I was, and I played, you know, 40 minutes straight, no breaks. I scored fucking 29. It was just like, it was insane. Yeah. And uh, it was fulfilling because I don't think, I, I think about it a lot. And I'm like, if I had lost that game, I would have did, I would have been scarred for life. I would have, I would not be able to like look back on school. I would have been so disappointed. So I'm like, fuck, thank God I won that. W. But, um, yeah, and now I'm thinking again, I'm just like, oh man, I'm probably gonna get sort of the same feeling, not the exact same yeah. feeling, but just like it's the it's all over feeling. Um yeah. that's gonna be pretty wild. Um like my last day, I didn't really get any of that. You know what I mean? It was just it was the same old, same old. It's why yeah. I, I kind of hate school. It's um I was yeah, I was just waiting around, you know, waiting for what? You know what I mean? So I'm finally gonna be done and i don't have to just like sit around in class because i have nothing to do i'm not forced to be in the class because i didn't have enough like i because i needed this amount of classes to graduate or like blah 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 i could finally be out and it's over like my final day i mean it was good and all and i'm glad i went it just reminded me how much it sucks yeah i mean i don't want to be that guy okay i i went but your school okay I did not get that feeling from that school ever. I don't know. Something about it. I think it's just because of how big the school is. For some, yeah. from what I, I think it's just how big the school is. And it just kind of seems like everyone's kind of doing their own thing. That's why it's kind of hard to make it. Because back in like middle school and elementary school, I always had that feeling like where it was like end of the year. Everyone was like, it was always hype. I feel like when yeah. I when I got to high school, other than my last senior year, all the other years were kind of just like, oh, okay. Well, now it's done next year. Now it's like, oh, there is no next year. But I think, you know, part of that was because of the pandemic. But I think my freshman year, I didn't even go to the last day of school my freshman year. I, I think it was like finals I didn't need. So I was just like, okay, fuck it. And I wow. just didn't go. Um, and yeah. then sophomore year, we didn't even get the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, fucking high school is kind of wild. 
than right. junior year. There was no junior year. Holy, right. pretty much. Uh, Crazy so, yeah, shit, it man. Was, it, yeah, I don't know. High school, it was all right, man. Could have been it was better. Eight. But, it was yeah, eight. I don't know why. Dude, my my camera's not focusing. It's been pretty. Put your hand over it. Time. Put your hand all the way over it. Okay, and now take it off. Okay. Okay, no, put your hand all the way over it and then uh bring it back slow. Oh. Wait, stop right there. Oh. I got it. I can't tell. Is that it? No, I don't think that's uh, it. No, no we're that's not it. Are, okay. Well, I think we're at the end anyways, right? Are you juiced out? Yeah, yeah, we're close. No, I don't actually. I'm, okay, so that I'm going to put Oh, that I got a job. Again. We we got to talk about that. Wait, you, I thought we already did. Or no. did we talk about, like, when we mentioned it, but you didn't, you yeah, officially did. got it? Yeah. Okay, I did officially that. get the job. So I applied to a grocery store, uh, and I got the job as a bagger. No, it's not Walmart. It's a, it's Save a Mart? local, it's a local brand. Yeah, it's Save Mart, local McDonald's? company. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. But yeah, I'm going to be a bagger at Save Mart, and um, it's going to be interesting. They're, they're very, understaffed so it's gonna be fun for me i start next week which is like basically immediate since i got the job on like what tuesday uh and i, I did a bunch of this like you know onboarding stuff online I, I read like the handbook i filled out all this like payment stuff and all that so i'm actually gonna get started next week great, man. and yeah Sorry. it's it's great but you know i'm also pretty busy too so shit so yeah. does, that, does that mean i'm, I'm officially getting my pan pod cut now is that is that what that means until the pan pod gets enough money until you get a payout you're not getting shit dog just <laughs> no, so i'm not explain. getting anything yeah sag too broke ten dollars in there replay go on spotify and five star that bitch replay every episode every day of the week every and then damn you'll make day a replay yeah. yeah that's hilarious yeah Fuck, well, that's great, man. That's it, that's it, yeah. Bag them groceries, motherfucker. We're bagging oh. them groceries. And after, the, like, the 5th of June, I'm, like, free to, like, slave away all summer. So, yeah. It's gonna be fun. That's great, man. Yeah. Hopefully I can find one soon. Um, Walmart. If not... Whoosh, yeah, I'm gonna... I, you know, actually, I'm gonna try out Walmart. I think the... Fuck, there was another place I needed to try. I totally forgot it was. I have, like, a list, and I'm literally just going down the list. Um, and dude, my whole, my house problem is like, some of them, like, I just don't have transportation for, that's a whole another thing. It's like, fucking yeah. wild. I need, I need a car, man. But this is what I told my mom this. I was like, okay, I want to get a job, right? Or I want to get a car and I want to get a job. What do I need for a job? I need a car. But in order to get the car, I need the job. So it's like, fuck, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll get there though. Um, in good time. Um, and you got anything else to add? I don't. Okay. Well, fuck you then. This is my show now. We're kicking Pan off. It's called the the X Pod now. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, links in the description. All that great, delicious stuff. Yeah, like it up. Subscribe. That's all. Subscribe my nibble. Anyway, um, yeah, thank great. you guys for watching. Uh, check out the description <laughs> for. Uh, anything X Men, anything Pan the Man. We stream this live yes. on Twitch every two weeks. Uh, make sure to check it out. And also, uh, go five star on the the Apple Podcast. I don't believe we've had any new five stars in many many months. So if you guys could do that, uh, we will read it out on the podcast for you guys. But until then. Um, we appreciate all the support you guys make it to this far in the podcast and uh, we'll definitely see you in the next two weeks for another episode of the Pan Pod but until then we will see you later bye